Hi there. Let's take a quick look at what's meant by the concept of corporate governance. Well, corporate governance is all about how businesses, and in particular companies, private limited or public limited companies, are run, how they're directed and controlled. And it's an important concept, particularly for companies, because of a concept called the divorce between ownership and control. We've looked at this in a separate video. What this means is that companies are controlled uh, by the board of directors, by the senior management. And they may also be shareholders, but in many situations, particularly larger, complex businesses, there are many, many shareholders who have no involvement in the day-to-day -day running or control of the business, but they are still owners of the business. Therefore, the board of directors have a duty of care, a duty to act in the interests of shareholders. And this is why the concept of corporate governance is so important and it's why there are various um, processes in place to try and make sure it happens effectively. Now, corporate governance is the responsibility of the board of directors. It's one of their tasks so that they can fulfill this duty to the shareholders. And there are various legal requirements in particular uh, for board of directors to, uh, to comply with. The shareholders who, of course, appoint the directors, appoint the board, just need to make sure that they're satisfied that the corporate governance rules, the processes are in place and that they're acceptable. So what are these key responsibilities uh, of directors in a system of corporate governance? Well, clearly they're responsible for setting the direction and the objectives of the business, the aims and objectives, a key part of, of strategies to do that, and then to decide and to, to, to determine the most appropriate strategy to achieve those aims and objectives. Part of that, of course, is then providing the leadership for the entire organisation to try to make the strategy effective and to supervise uh, management. So uh, within the hierarchy, there will be different layers of management from senior through middle management and possibly down to junior management. And the directors are responsible for supervising the managers that they put in place of the business. And finally, of course, a key part of the director's role is then to report to shareholders on how they're doing, both the financial pos uh, position of the business, the performance of the business, but also other important aspects of business operation that shareholders want to know about. And that's how corporate governance works. Uh, this is a, 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 more, a more detailed series of points here that you probably don't need to know for, for your specification. But it's, if it's of interest to you, you may need to know or may like to know that there are various rules and regulations in place, in particular for public companies, that set out what's known as best practice for corporate governance, in particular splitting the role of the CEO, who's the executive leader of the business, and the chairman, who chairs the board of directors. Also importantly, making sure that uh, companies, larger companies, have non-executive directors uh, who are not involved in the day-to-day -day, uh, operation of the business and who are independent of the board to act as the sort of the representatives, if you like, of the shareholders. But there we go. Hopefully that's useful. That's just been an overview uh, and an introduction to the concept of corporate governance.